Despite e being an irrational number, exponential functions are some of the easiest functions to find the derivative of. Let's see. So in this first rule, if we have a function y, which is e to the power of x, the derivative of that function is just e to the power of x itself. There's going to be a link on the screen, a video on the screen for you to navigate to if you want to see this rule and why it exists. For now, for this video, to keep it short, we're just going to know that it's true. Moving on to rule two, slightly more complexity. If we now have e to the power of some k, some constant, k of x, so 2x, 3x, minus 5x, whatever, this is the rule. So if y equals e to the power of kx, the derivative of y with respect to x is k times e to the power of kx. I'm going to annotate this one in yellow. So this k value up the top, all of these k, k values are going to be the same. And I'm going to do part a and b in this example. So part a is going to be y equals e to the power of 3x. And I'm going to highlight the 3 in yellow. I recommend you do this if you're starting out. Use highlighters and follow along. So that means that this 3, if you look at the rule, this k is going to drop down the front of my function and multiply by the original. So the derivative of y, dy, with respect to x, is equal to 3 times e to the 3x. Moving on to part b, we have y equals e to the power of negative 2x. In this case, the negative 2 is my k value, so the entire negative 2 is going to come down the front. So the derivative of y with respect to x equals negative 2 times e to the negative 2x. Finally, rule number three, slightly more complexity again. We have, if we've got a function of y, which is e to the power of some other function of x, we're gonna, we can use the chain rule. And again, there's going to be a video on screen showing how the chain rule makes this happen. But if you just want to follow the rule and keep it simple to start, the derivative of the upper function or the power function comes down the front and multiplies by the original. Let's see it in action. So this blue function f of x is going to find the, we're going to find the derivative of it and then multiply it by the original. So I've actually deleted my questions I had here. Let's just make a couple up. Let's say if y equals e to the power of x squared, we'll start with a simple function of x. That means that x squared is my f of x. So I'm going to write f of x equals x squared. And the derivative of that, f dash x, equals 2x. So as you can see from the rule, this means that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2x times by e to the x squared. Done. I'll do one more example. Let's say y equals e to the power of x cubed plus 4x squared. Okay, another polynomial. You can, of course, have trigonometric functions in the power. You could have log functions. You could have anything you want. I'm going to keep it with polynomials for this example. So highlight your other function of x, and we're going to write off to the side f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared. And the derivative of this function is 3x squared plus 8 x. Now, when we find the derivative of y down below, dy dx, it's going to be that f dash x, which is in brackets, 3x squared plus 8x times by the original function, or e to the power of x cubed plus 4x squared. Now, I just want to add really quickly, this pair of brackets is really important. If you don't put them in, you get something that looks like dy dx equals 3x squared plus 8x times by e to the power of x cubed plus 4x squared. And it's not quite right. Oh, yeah, it's not quite right. The reason it's not quite right is because all we've got multiplying together is the 8x and the original function. The 3x squared is just hanging out the front as an addition. This is not what we want. We want the entire derivative, f dash x, to multiply by the original function. So when you find that derivative, make sure you just put it in brackets out the front or parentheses out the front to ensure you're multiplying by the entire thing.
All right, that's it, guys. That's a short but sweet video about the three different rules of exponential functions. If you like the video, make sure you like it. There's also going to be a video on screen here with solutions to a worksheet. This worksheet's absolutely free. You can find the link to the worksheet, which is going to help you practice these skills in the video description. Have a great day.